Hi guys, I just wanted to show to you my homemade quadcopter that I've finished making just a couple of days ago. Built from scratch from a piece of aluminium U channel. It's about 900mm length, about £5.50 in B&Q, I think it was. I did plan to make it out of this wooden rod. But I decided to make a completely clean build with with zero wires, partly just to make it look good, but also to save weight. But anyway, I ended up using this this channel. The original plan was to feed the motor wires into the U channel and up this way, but yeah, I've gone with this way. I think my next build I'm gonna make it completely clean whereas I'm going to open the casing of the ESC's desolder the ESC wires and solder the motor wires directly to it just to make it all completely clean but uh, there she is the landing gear is believe it or not gutter clips which are which are these flow plast gutter clips you probably recognize them there. I did have to shave them down slightly on the sides to make them fit in the U channel. And I bought two extra because I thought I'd be shearing them off, but they have proved amazingly resilient. I've only mounted them in one position so that I've got a little bit of flexibility there. And I've pinched the, the U channel in just as a stop for the suspension. And of course, it's flexible down here as well, so it it really does bounce. And I've not broke one yet. I've only had a few test flights with it, and I'm still trimming it at the moment. But I say I've had a few quite heavy landings, and it's quite funny to see it bounce. So yeah, really pleased with those. Um, yeah, I've just braced it together. The original plan was to use one of these um, I had to drill it out slightly bigger for my screws but I was going to mount it underneath the quadcopter and not have separate ESC's I say I want I did want a completely clean build but I somehow have broken this what I'd done I was screwing the the motor wires into here and being clamps you I was just unsure of how strong they'd be so I perhaps went a little bit over tight and after that it's only putting out two phases to one of the motors so I think I over tightened it and I've probably I've probably loosened a solder joint somewhere in there but I'll have to have a look at that another time so I had to get the Emacs 12 amp Simon K flashed ESCs. Nice tiny units. It's also using the CC3D flight controller. I think that was about £12 on eBay. And also the Orange RC R615X, which is a DSMX receiver. I use the the Spectrum DS6i which is DSMX so I've decided everything I'm going to be buying now will be DSMX hence this one I'm sort of going through these props a bit I really don't want to put expensive ones on there while I'm trimming and I think these props have seen their last I think I was too close to my wall in my garden and I don't know if you can make this out but see where the opaque is turning white I think I've really weakened them at this point here and I don't think I'm going to be able to balance these props the leading edges have got too many chunks out of them now but flight wise like I say I'm still trimming it at the moment but incredibly fast incredibly fast it looks like he's doing about 
Oh, it's got to be 50 or 60 mile an hour, just on half throttle. But yeah, she comes in at under 500 grams. That's including the battery. I'm using a 1500 milliamp hour battery that I used to use on an old EDF plane I had. And these have been redundant in my box for many years. So I've recharged them. I've got three. I'm getting about eight minutes of flight times, which I'm really impressed with really impressed but the discharge rate is so high I'm I'm ballooning the battery it's puffing up at the end of each flight and getting really hot so I don't know if I'm gonna have to upgrade the batteries or whether it's just their age holding out but they're 25 C discharge but I think I'm I think I'm pulling one hell of a current from that battery anyway let me uh, fire it up and uh, show you how she flies right let's fire her up I really should have cut the grass before I done this so I hope that's not going to have much of an effect on takeoff but like I say those props are a little bit damaged now so I hope it's still trimmed enough for actual flight so let's give her a go let's just arm it there we go Right, so there we are that was just over three minutes and I can feel now the battery is quite hot and I don't know if you can see that it's sort of ballooning out but let's see what let's see what's left in in the battery eleven point one volts I did notice that one of these cells, 374, 371, no that's fine, I did notice that one of the cells on one of the three batteries is losing voltage towards the end of the flight time really fast, down to about 3.2, so I'm guessing I'm exceeding the capacity of the, uh, the battery there, so... Also, I noticed I did take a chunk off the blade, but not for the last minute or so of flight, I don't think. But it compensated well. It didn't sound like it was out of balance at all, but I say, when you start off getting uh, making your quad, you're going to need a bunch of props. So this is my planned next one. I'm using the KK2 board, which looks really nice sat in there. I'm using some really cheap motors I got off eBay. I think these were about 
£20 for the four. But anyway, I'm going to mount the ESCs in here. So I desoldered the ESC, so I'm going to have a completely clean build with very minimal wires. And I know you, this one was this frame was about six pound fifty on eBay, so probably works out cheaper to to buy a frame. But there is a little bit of satisfaction in in building your own from scratch. So when I get it all trimmed up, I hope to give you another video. And I'm really excited to see the speed of this thing. Like I said, I estimate it's doing about 50 or 60 miles an hour on only about half throttle. And it's just so responsive. And I'm flying it on very stable settings. And to be fair, I've not experimented past those settings on any of my flights, not even with my with my main quadcopter, which you can see in my other video. So we've only been flying quadcopters this summer. I just found that flying planes was just so expensive because when you're learning, you're in the air about 10 seconds before you crash and you normally ride it off after that first crash. I remember my first, my first hobby plane ended up more with duct tape than it did with anything else anyway i'll be back soon with a new video